it's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft. I'm here to share with you part one of my May haul. And this is going to seem really weird because it's May, but it's Halloween stuff. So we'll get into it in a second. That just goes to show you how far behind in my photos I am. All right, so I made a purchase from Peacecraft Love because at the end of March, she was having a pivot sale. She's no longer selling uh, physical products, but she's kind of trying to pivot into doing just online stuff and classes. So she was uh, having a sale, a 30% off sale for the physical product, trying to clear out some of that stuff, some of that, um, that stock. And so I took advantage right at the end of the month. And uh, this stuff came sort of beginning of April. So I've been, I've been saving it <laughs> so, and haven't used it because I'm like, you know what, this is going to be part of my May. I'm going to save it for May because it didn't come before April. It came after April started, so it's going to be for May. So basically, um, I stocked up on a couple colors here. Scattered Straw, this Distress Oxide Spray. One of the colors that Chamel had recommended through one of her, um, you know, Best of Both Worlds kits. So I said, all right, I'll get some Scattered Straw. We'll see We'll see how I like this color compared to my favorite Tim Holtz yellow, which is the, the lemonade one. We got Picked Raspberry, which is a, a nice pinky color. I have a lot of pinks. He, maybe he makes a lot of pinks. I don't know. And then this is Spun Sugar, which is a lighter pink. Um, and I'm really excited about this one because the lighter pink, I have the Victorian Velvet, which is a lighter pink, but I don't really, it's not like a bright light pink. Um, so I, it's, it's so interesting how you can get so many different shades, so many different colors like this. So we'll see how these work. Um, if you have any of these colors, let me know what you think of them. And then I think this was a bonus. This is um, a little mini ink pad of bundled sage. So this could actually come in handy doing some, because I mean, it's kind of greeny, could maybe doing some Christmas cards, that type of thing, or Christmas scrapbooking um, with some stamps. <laughs> I haven't done anything with my December daily for 2022. So that's something that I need to work on. Um, so I also ordered... Let me look at this sheet just to get it's it was called a stash starter plus stencil set and it was Halloween themed. And I chose Halloween because I have tons of Halloween pictures from last fall to get done. So this came with Hocus Pocus by Stephen Duncan. Um, it's from Cartabella and it's got all these really cool pattern papers in your traditional Halloween-y type colors. There's also, you know, with the purples in there. Um, there's also a sticker sheet. You've got some cut aparts. Really, really cool. I might want to take, oh, here's the stickers. So these are actually going to go really well if I can reach over here. I have some leftover uh, Halloween stuff from the past. So I think some of this is Doodlebug. This is, oh, I don't remember. But anyway, I'm going to combine this with this and that should be good. So actually I'm just going to put like all my Halloween stuff together. And then there was supposed to be a stencil set. Now she said she couldn't uh, locate the specific stash starter Halloween kit. So, so this is kind of um, a, a makeup of it. So there's this really cool kit, paper kit with stickers, and then just a whole bunch of stencils. I'm really excited to try these out. Um, you've got this by Designs by Rin, a laser cut stencil that looks almost like, um, they're kind of like, to me, they look kind of furry, like furry swirls, um, but they could also be used as like leaves or fronds I suppose. This one from Ranger um, looks kind of like spider webs so this would be really good for making a background. Then there's also floral fill-in stencils from Concord and Ninth. Um, I don't oh so I guess they're like two stencil things and then you you're layering. That's really interesting because I've never done anything like that before. Um, so that'll be really cool. I love this one as a cool Halloween-y background. This is from Colorbox Art Screens. Oh, see, they're doing some sprays. I've done sprays on stencils before. It's not anything crazy. Um, this has some Tim Holtz tag stencils. Um, I love that kind of cracked look. And then this one has some clocks on it. I think the cracked one would be really cool for some Halloween backgrounds. Here's another Tim Holtz one that is layering stencil Halloween script. So it says like 31, boo, poison, Halloween. That could be really good for making some titles, for stamping some titles. This one might actually be really good for helping me finish up some of my um, summer vacation photos, which I'm still working on those as well. So it's just mixed media stencils. You can see everything there's um, a lot of different words that you can, and numbers you can use for titles. This one is also really, really interesting. It's got hearts on it. They're hands, 
with hearts. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, it's from Joggles, and that's really interesting. I don't know how I would use this, but it's pretty big, so it could be an interesting as a, a mixed media background. So I'll have to experiment. Put that in my, my pile of like interesting things that I don't really know how to use, but I'm going to figure it out. Pile. Um, Ranger Delusions. There are four of these little square thingies, and some of them are flowers. I like the brick one. Some of these are just like funny shapes and other flowers. Um, you could doodle with them. Oh yeah, stenciling and doodling. So there's a lot that you could do with these. Um, trace them, use inks with them. This one's a really cool for a background one. This is Dress My Craft, a mixed media stencil. It's kind of got like fun, uh, distressed pieces in it. So that would look really, really cool going on a, on a background. It's not 12 by 12. Um, it would be great for like an eight and a half by 11, but I bet I could figure out how to do it 12 by 12 and create some sort of like chevron pattern going on it. Um, so yeah, so this is what I got from Peace Craft Love and then we'll move on. All right. And so now I have the second half. This is an order from Paper Issues. There was a big 60% off sale a couple, I don't know, days, weeks ago. And um, basically Cassie just wanted to get rid of some old stuffs to make room for a lot of new stock. So here is what I picked out. And I picked this stuff out based on photos that I knew I had. Um, looking forward to November photos. So like for um, for this trip to a local scrapbook store, I picked up this Doodlebug Design Shaker Pops cardstock sticker that says Sparkle here. And then it's a little shaker with sequins inside. It's so cute. And then also the Simple Stories Let's Get Crafty chipboard stickers because they have crafty stuff on them that I thought would just be perfect for the photos that I took being at that store. And I love the look of these American craft stickers. These are from the Sweet Rush collection. They are chipboard stickers. They're probably going to need some extra adhesive, but look at the layering of the colors behind here. That's just so cool. And it would be, it would go really well with this stuff, the colors in here too. So that's that. Also, I have some vacation photos from from just looking at the paper all the paper I have some vacation photos from November and I thought I should pick up some vacation embellishments as well just a couple extra things so these are the road trip puffy stickers from Cardabella I love the feel of puffy stickers and they've got some road mainly like road trip stuff and these can also be helpful for the my summer vacation photos then I got like a lot of paper so let's start with this really cool one this is Vicky Boot and Sweet Rush. It's very shimmery and metallic. Gold holographic print on vellum. So you can see it's sort of like, I don't know, are we calling these palm fronds? What do you think? With a few little splattery bits, but it's super shiny. And I thought, I liked the gold for fall type photos. I like gold to go along with that. And then I also have, I got a lot of paper, you guys. Okay, so Fall Fever from Echo Park. This is a really nice design, and I wanted it to go along with some of these uh, Fall Fever embellishments that I'd already purchased separately. This has a really nice fall wreath pattern on it, because obviously if I'm going to be scrapbooking November photos, there's going to be stuff from Thanksgiving and, and outdoor activities. These are 6 by 4 journaling cards. You've got a leaf pattern on one side, and then the six by four cards on this side. Fall Fever Echo Park again. We've got beautiful sunflowers. These are multi-journaling cards. So this is pretty cool. You've got four by six pieces, but then these are smaller, probably three by four. And then you've got the two by two squares. So lots of different ways you could use this sheet, which I like. Also from Fall Fever, I just went for it all, didn't I? Three by four journaling cards. You've got flowers on this side and then your traditional three by fours on this side as well. Also from Fall Fever, the four by four journaling cards. So Happy Harvest, Hello Pumpkin, the trucks, the tractors on this side, and then you've got four by four pieces on this side, which I mean, you could use the whole four by four or you could just cut out this little sign right here and just use those words. If you wanted to, you could try to fussy cut or even just do like a larger circle around this wreath and make it, make it an embellishment. That could be cool. All right, more fall stuff. This is Pink Fresh. 
Good Times, and this page is called New Rhythm, so it's got some pinky leaves and then a nice blue color with a, a white rectangle. It looks like an Excel spreadsheet, doesn't it? <laughs> and this one is also from Good Times Golden Skies, so you could use these as paper strips. But the opposite side is sort of a, a stripey, what kind of color is that? It's sort of like a, a matte pink, a muted pink. It reminds me of, I was just talking about it, the Victorian velvet Tim Holtz color. That's what this reminds me of. So I might have to use some of that when I scrapbook with this. All right, Kaiser Craft from the Flower Shop Collection. This is called Glass House and I liked it. I like the butterflies and I like this thing down here. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing, but I really like this wood grain because I love a wood grain and that's going to go really well with a lot of different things. Okay, this is Bella Boulevard. School is cool. A is for apple. I chose the apples because I have some photos of my daughter's field trip to go apple picking. And then this has a nice green on the opposite side. I kind of like that together. Do something, you could do like a flap over or a flip over type of thing. That'd be cool. All right, also school is cool math facts. So obviously this has math flashcards on this side, but I think I got it just for this because I liked all the different colors and you know, it's part of the same collection, so It's gonna go really well. School supplies, probably not gonna use this side of this, but I liked the orangey side. Again, very fallish, could use it with this stuff right? Uh, could use it with the apple picking. So a nice selection of things here. All right. We also have, and this is pretty cool. Um, it's Cartabella from the road trip. So this side is cream and this side is green. So that's going to go with those puppy stickers that I purchased, but you could use either side of the cardstock, however you want to do it. Uh, this is Bloom and Grow um, from Fancy Pants Designs. Baby Buds is the name of this one. It's got some little pretty flowers and then a nice, just solid, kind of like a, an apple green, little bit of an ombre feel going on here. I don't know how well you can see that, but a little bit. I also like that one. All right, this is Pink Fresh, but it's Happy, Happy Heart. And this is called Small Joys. So we've got some flowers, blue and white. And then, oh, nope, that's not it. I turned over too many. Ooh, look at this pink. A very, very pretty pink color. This might be good for a vacation photo that I have with some photos on the beach. Because it kind of, it's not like a sunset color, but it kind of has that, that feel of things changing on the horizon. So that should be interesting. All right, Pebble, Pebbles Kid at Heart. This is Chasing Rainbows. I love a good rainbow. And then this side could also be good for fall stuff, right? Okay, what's this one? Pretty Little Studio. Moving this over here. Um, Grateful Heart. This is Joy. So we've got some little birdies going on here. Big birds, little birds. And then a uh, sort of plaid picnic table type of design in a purple. Simple Stories Homegrown. I think I still have some embellishments from this. These would be good for um, photos at the farm as well. Uh, so we got some sunflowers and flower, regular flowers, and then just another kind of tone on tone flower pattern. This uh, this paper is called Rise and Shine. Then I've also got some Lake Life paper. So this is this all came together, and I got it because I wanted some more solid colors, and they looked very fallish. So this side is light blue, and then we've got a red on this side, very fallish. This is a brown. This is a green. This is a, a yellow and this is a blue, so kind of like a mustard yellow. So very nice a selection of fall colors. And then I did the same thing over here. So this is also Fancy Pants, my type. You've got a nice light blue and then a black, a navy blue, and then kind of a light pink, lavender maybe. And this is a baby blue with, I can do it, here we go, red. So just a nice selection of extra solid color cardstocks to have in my stash. Okay, cute and crafty. This is obviously gonna go with the cute and crafty embellishments that I picked up for those photos from the scrapbook store. On the other side has some rainbow words on it, born to craft, making memories, craftiness is happiness, totally. And then I also got this one, which I'm pretty sure I've used this before. This is Amy Tangerine from the Brave and Bold collection. Um, I've used it before, but I really like it because of all these little pieces. And I liked the colors, 
going along with the colors from here. So these would be great for journaling spots, making embellishments, because you can fussy cut all of this stuff out, which I really, really like. So this is definitely the side I'm going to be using. So that's my big old haul for my big old sale haul for this month. And I hope that you stay tuned to the channel to see everything that I'm going to create with this stuff. I can't wait to create. It's always nice to have new stuff in your stash. Let me know if you liked anything here. Um, if you want to see what I make, I'm going to have process videos every Tuesday as well as other times throughout the month. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.